Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, what we're looking at here is just a standard 512 kilobytes of RAM expansion for the Amiga 500, which was great back then. Um, having one megabyte RAM in an Amiga 500 made it possible to play all, almost all the Amiga games uh, that was produced back then. Uh, Amiga games uh, playing with uh, normal discs. It, it was a must have back then. So, in one of my Amiga 500s, I found this. When I buy an Amiga 500, I always open the, 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 the trap door to, uh, to take these expansions out because most of them have these barrel batteries. As you can see here, this one also had it. As you can see, this leg had a little bit of juice from the battery, which destroys everything. <laughs> so I always take them off. Um, this one needs to be washed and uh, neutralized. It's a new one. But um, this one worked in an Amiga 500. It got detected as 512 kilobytes. But um, if you can see here, it says 1.5 megabytes, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. 5. So I was thinking about needing a some kind of Gary adapter because the Gary chip only detects this as 1.5. Micro Mix, Mast 1988, back in 88. 30 years old guys, but it still works as 512 kilobytes of memory expansion. So, I got this little board. How it works? You just take off your Gary chip from your, from your Amiga 500 or 500 plus. I haven't tested on the Amiga 2000, but I think it, it would work in there too. So you just take your Gary chip off and put it on here. Nothing special, as you can see, this one says 5719, and it was produced the 26th week of 1991. Normal Gary chip, and plug it in the socket here. Well, under this, it's got two small IC chips here. It's not easy to see it. They are there in there. And you just plug this one into the Gary socket on the Amiga 500. So simple as that. And on the other end, as you can see, we got this board. Not the best solder job, as you can see here, but it works. So, when I insert this with the two small ICs, two small chips, and insert this one to the expansion slot on the Amiga 500, this one gets detected as one megabyte of fast RAM memory expansion. But without the Gary adapter, without these two small chips, this board gets detected as has 512 kilobytes of RAM expansion, memory expansion. So that Gary adapter is just awesome and it's called AMRAM M issue one. Let's see if, oh, this one got something too. What's AMRAM five Gary issue three. So, when I insert this one in the Gary socket and this one as the expansion, I get one megabyte of fast RAM in my Amiga 500, which is great. But as you can see, it's got some more sockets here. So you can actually expand it furthermore with this one, daisy chain them. Isn't that great? I didn't know this existed back in 1988. So uh, with this connected, and this one in the garage of course, garage socket, 
Euromiga 500 could have 2.5 megabytes of fast RAM memory expansion back in 88. Isn't that great guys? I love it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.